Clement Jimmy Lawrence is the chairman of J. Ray and Nephew Limited, Jamaica's oldest company. He shares life lessons with us on Profile. Welcome. I'm Ian Boyd. Jimmy, you're the first black man to have cheered Jerry and Nephew, which was around from 1826, older than the Greener Company. That's a feat. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you sit some sometimes and, and, and think about uh, that. No, Ian, first of all, thank you for having me. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. In all honesty, I don't look at things in, in, in those terms. Yes. I, I think that in life, um, you know, there are experiences for all of us. Some are different. And I just happen to have the good fortune of um, being yes. in a place and a time that afforded me the opportunities that I've had. And so that's, that's how I look at it. You, you earn the, 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 the respect of the McConnells, then earn the res respect of, uh, of the Campari group, which, yeah. which, which bought out um, uh, Jake, Ray and Nephew. What is it about, about Jimmy Lawrence um, which makes him acceptable to uh, people of power, people of um, distinction and, and achievement? I don't know. If in particular, it's things about me that are found acceptable as more to a case where uh, one is faced with challenges and one finds ways to innovate and to incorporate people to build teams, to build strong teams to accomplish goals. And I think once you get into that mode, it's not so much of a particular recognition of something innate with one, but, um, you know, just by... By yeah. performance, but 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 Billy McConnell has yeah. has sent you on a lot of a uh, turnaround missions yes. <laughs> um, yeah. in the in the group over the um, years, and you you seem to have a knack for uh, salvaging uh, companies <laughs> uh, operations yeah. which were in in, in crisis. Yeah. What is it about you that? that gives you that, that, that edge and that enables you to do that? Well, I've had the good fortune of, I guess, being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, being in a position where I am prepared to give of my all in, 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 in circumstances where, where, where there are challenges. Um, I must say, too, I've been afforded a lot of opportunity. You know, I mean, there are times when I think that opportunities that were afforded to me could have been provided to other people. Precisely. That's precisely so, the point. So, <laughs> so why you? Um, <laughs> I know you're a humble that, self facing man, you know. <laughs> but, but, but that is the question uh, that faces us. Uh, Others could have had it, and yeah. they were not. Yeah, well, uh, be, be honest with you, it's, it's just giving of oneself and being prepared to yeah. accept the challenge. And, and I might add, you know, there, there were times when I didn't feel I was up to the challenge. And I have to give a lot of credit to, to my wife because I know there are times when I said, look, I'm not going to do this or yes, be that. Yes. And she would encourage me and say, but you've, tell me what you've not succeeded at yes, um, in the yes. last so many years. And I would go on and do it. And each time that I think, you know, it's the most challenging thing to be yes. facing me, it turns out to be one of the better opportunities yes. that... Presented themselves. Jimmy, people who, who, who know you would refer to your people skills. You mm -hmm. are so easygoing. Mm -hmm. When one sits with you, he cannot believe he is sitting with one of the, the, the most powerful persons in the country just by virtue of the, the position that you hold. Mm -hmm. Is, is, is this, this a part of your success, the, the soft skills that you have, your ability to, to deal with uh, people? Is, is that a part of the success strategy? Yeah, and I think that is priceless, you know. I think that uh, in this life, if you want to engage people, if you want to get people to 
come into being and to be enthusiastic about mm -hmm. any objective. And that's true whether it's family life or in the workplace. You have to see things from the perspective of those people who are engaging in teams. None of us have the competencies um, in a broad sense that, that would be required for any industry that there is. And you've hired really talented people. So the issue is how to get them engaged into being, how to empower them so that they can contribute more. So, you know, the sum of the parts mm -hmm. you know, can be greater than the whole. And, and this is what I have found. So, um, you know, I, I did chemistry. And yes. I've had... Uh, You're a scientist? Right. Well, you weren't even trained in management. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, had, uh, your, first, your first degree in, 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 in chemistry, you don't have a second degree, you don't have uh, um, right. an, an MBA, no PhD right. in, um, in, in, in management studies yeah. or, or engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Yet you've, you've been enormously uh, successful. You're at Colgate, yeah. um, Lascelles, yes. Lascelles also on J, um, yeah. Ray and Nephew. Yeah, on the Campari, yes. Yes. Yeah. Because again, again, too, I think once you, I think when you get a first degree, mm -hmm. um, it really demonstrates that you have a competence yeah, to be, a, a capacity, yeah, yes, analytical, to and to learn, yes, and yes. to assimilate yes, things, true. and it, you know, and to reason things, and so on and so forth. When you get there, I think the sooner you, you specialize, is probably more problematic for you because then you, you get, you know, locked into something that probably won't be self-fulfilling in the end. Yes. And I've been lucky about that because, you know, I, I could have been working in a lab and, you know, doing <laughs> titrations and, and things, but I've never done that. And maybe that's a good yes. unfortunate thing. Even though I was technical manager though for a while, so, mm -hmm. an engineer too. So, you know, yes. you learn, you, you get these opportunities to, 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 to demonstrate skills but it's more it's more how to how to engage people how to get them motivated and I'm a firm believer that teamwork trumps it you know it gets uh -huh. things done it makes a pro it makes you accomplish your overall goals and I've really dedicated a lot of effort into trying so it's to, not so much the mastery that. over the technical oh. areas the mastery of technical skills no that's not the key to no. to, to, to being a great manager or a, or, or a business leader? Or just a good manager. I, th I think what you have to do is your first responsibility, I always say, of a, of a team leader is to select his team. Oh. So, for example, you know, a manager that tells me, oh, I have a terrible team and you know, they're just no good, the fault lies in that manager, right? The fault lies in the manager. Because that's your first responsibility, to select the right people. The right people. Yeah. So you do that. No, you may have to take certain people off a team, you may have to bring on others, and you may have to bring others up, and so on and so forth. But that's your first response. But once you have that done, then things become that much more easier. And, and of course, to get a working culture that people feel relaxed and feel comfortable to, to, to get the job done. Of course, Layering on top of that, of course, having the right strategy in place because yes. you can't just go flying to somewhere. You have to fly to a destination, mm -hmm. and, and, and that is key for your team to understand. I think once you do that, it's, it's relatively simple. But always remember, you know, you're working with people. They're, they have emotions. You have, they have yes. Most of us have the same experiences, so... So the it's people not. skills are really vital. And you're a man, you, you would go on the factory floor and talk to the workers, get ideas. T tell me how yeah, that's the most work. enjoyable thing for me. I, I, I'll tell you, you know, when I started work, I mean, a lot of my working life was on the production side of life. When I was at Colgate, Colgate. it was more skewed to that. Uh -huh. Started as a production plan. We start engaging with people in the factory. No, they're not machines. There's a distinct difference between people and machines. Yes. Uh, a, a, a machine will just replicate a function, you know, at, at, it, it will just continue in, to infinity. People have emotions. People have concerns. You have to engage with them. You have to talk with them. You have to get your... And the feedback you get from people who are engaged with is priceless. They, mm. they will tell you things that, you know, you could pay a consultant and still not get the fundamentals right. We, we need to explore that point when we come back. Jerry and is one of the most successful companies in Jamaica under Jimmy Lawrence's um, leadership. The company has continued to surge uh, ahead. 
doesn't have the MBA, was not a trained formally in, in management. But the people skills, the soft skills, have distinguished him as a, a leader in Jamaica's corporate sector. He talks more about this when we come back for more break on Profile.